pure sky. No grass, nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. There you are. friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. That must be worth two sturdy longships. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. Valka Seder works through my hammer. <laughs> The ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes. Can we show Sigurd the can stones he stacked yesterday? That's a good idea. That's in the morning. First light. Let's go! 
king. May our clans be forever bonded in friendship and love. <gasps> Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. All then speed, our forth will bring. The noble deeds that on us sing. The brave men slain, Valkyria away. Rewards are strange of our little takes And horns resound the mighty horn For those who fight For those who fight Ready yourself, men! Just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. Coward here before your people, and I will spare the rest. Fight, my love! Do not listen! If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Baron. No, Aaron! Pick up your axe! <laughs>
genes overlapped in the same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. Get in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. How long have you been chasing me, Wolf Kissed? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father sags. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Hey, the wolf kissed is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> To the ship. You move, and I take your eyes. You hear me? Winds blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? See you, old friend.
save that for later. his men. I need to be careful. I should be cautious around here. My eyes, Sunan. Taste the slaver's whip.
clash of iron. There's fighting nearby. Bag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davald's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. Shitless warriors crawl through Arvald's nest like lice. For you. may attract attention. Best not to draw attention here. <laughs> the longhouse. The crew should be inside. <laughs> there should be an opening in the roof. will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of the fucker out. <laughs> you coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! 
Lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Let battle sweat flow. I will send you to hell herself. Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit! Shut your hole and fight! Die, you son of shit! You should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Then it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No!
find us. What? Oh, yes, of course. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. side must be barred.
Grab yours. The whale road leads us home. Ross, it's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. Let the sail out. Rather silent, Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no... <laughs> and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is that to say? Or something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, bone-headed, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily Stop take the sail. More sail! Let's go, FB King! Get out of here!
Yotva will come for us now. Hot. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. King about this misadventure. Only the truth. That we attacked Kjotvis fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. Up here. Well, well, the feeder of ravens returns, and not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor, just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know.
Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Shut up, Rolf. How do you know? You never went on a raid. You shut up. Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit. Now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release. Thank you, Eivor. Now I have something for you. See, all in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. Paint me. Be my eyes. anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Caught anything? Not today. I shooting. Around with me? All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Yeah, yeah. Bay the Noe, good time for start. So, 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 so,
Kissing a flagstone soon. My lifeblood. That was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. Is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary from the north. I would wait a while longer. Understood. I will come back. <laughs> well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> The only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Ah, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Alvis. I'll take the lesson to heart.
Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Tovi says she is trying out some new tattoos. She is, and she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Need anything else? See you later, Swain. Sure. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Is there something else? See you later, Swain. Sure. Guna, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. 
Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? <sighs> Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That's all for now. Return any time. It must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere.
Balka? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding, I saw nothing, Valka. Felt nothing. Harvey! 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 I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? Brother! What is this? 
There was no other way, Javi. Our fates are fixed. Sing it! It is Valka. I am here. Dance! I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the Wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He is my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No! This is wrong! Oh, you misunderstand! That cannot be right! You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! 